Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna discuss the various IP ratings and what they mean, and helping us out is John Birch. He is with Bison Gear and Engineering from St. Charles, Illinois. Hi, Home of the Monopoly card, St. Charles. Absolutely, how Isn't you doing, it right? Tom? Thanks for having us. I love it, Pleasure awesome. being here. Well, it's good, we only need two more guests and then we could have a whole Monopoly there, there you go. so we could do that. Uh, but we're excited to have you here and learn about the IP ratings and uh, you know the purpose, actually, in the manufacturing process and what this all means. So uh, enlighten us, John. It's all yours. Of course, Tom. IP stands for ingress protection, okay. although some people refer to it as international protection rating. Okay. What it constitutes is a set of classifications for various degrees of protection against solids and liquids from contaminating your product, in this case, our gear motors. This includes, but is not limited to, dust, dirt, and water. Okay, so why is this necessary and important to know? For any given application, there's a possible risk of contamination. Not understanding what your system can or cannot protect against can lead to performance issues, machine downtime, and additional unneeded repair costs. Yeah, and that's money out of your pocket. Wasted money, right correct. There. And in some applications, such as food processing, there can even be potential health risks if the equipment has not been designed for the proper IP standards. Okay, so how are the actual IP ratings structured so we know? IP ratings generally consist of four digits. The first two are simply the letters IP. Okay. The second two digits are numbers that signify the rated level of protection. The first number rates the level of solid object protection, such as dust or small particles, and the rating goes from zero to six. And zero meaning no protection maybe? Exactly. Okay. And six meaning all enclosures are completely dust tight, and then each rating in between signifies what diameter a solid would need to be in order to pass through the enclosure. Okay, and the last digit? The last digit is also a number. It ranges between zero and eight and represents the level of protection the product has against the ingress of liquid. Zero being not protected at all, one meaning is protected against dripping water, five being protected against water jets, and eight meaning the component is capable of operating while fully submerged in one meter or more of water. There's also another rating called 9K. Wait, 9K? 9K, but we'll talk 9K? about that in a second. I'm excited, 9K. Hey, you know, so why all the different levels, though? I mean, why not just exclusively make products that are completely protected against all solid and liquid ingress? Hey, here it is, here is the 1 million K, nothing gets in, nothing gets out. What's the deal there? Absolutely, we could certainly do that. However, it'd be extremely costly, and in most cases, it's unnecessary. Okay. There's hundreds of applications out there that do not require as much protection as food processing or similar applications. For instance, industrial applications call for protection against dust, but in most cases don't need to protect against full liquid submersion or washdown. Bison's PowerStar high efficiency right angle high point gear motor mm -hmm. has an IP rating of 54. Okay. And it's an excellent example of a gear motor there. designed for typical industrial applications. Okay, so what would the IP54 protect against? Right, IP54 protects against dust and splashing water. So as you can see, the PowerStar has several design features mm -hmm. Uh, such as the motor being tight against the gearbox that prevents dust ingress. Okay. The leads are protected in a junction box, again, to protect against dust or incidental splashes of water. Okay, great. Can, so can you tell me about the highest rating and what design features that it requires? Absolutely. Let's talk, that's the IP69K we talked about a few seconds ago. Oh, okay. That's one of the highest IP ratings. It was added for products that are not only dust tight, but that need, need to be able to withstand close range, high temperature, high pressure, wash down situations. Okay, so like food processing and food conveying equipment. Car wash equipment, pharmaceuticals, really anywhere that needs a clean environment. Applications like meat slicers, mm -hmm. frozen food conveyors, and other food processing equipment are cleaned regularly, sometimes multiple times per day, using high pressure wash down systems. And the sub-assemblies that make up these systems need to be able to withstand the environment without wear, corrosion, and they need to be able to prevent bacteria growth. So give me some examples of how a product is designed to be 69K rated. Sure. This is Bison's parallel shaft Santa motor. It's a complete gear motor designed specifically for washdown environments and it's IP69K rated. All right, so how did you design it to get to that IP69K rating standard? In this case, Santa motor is a completely encased in a 304 stainless steel shell and it can tolerate not only high pressure sprays, but high temperatures and harsh cleaning agents. The internal electrical components, the motor for example, is encapsulated in an epoxy uh, resin, thermally conductive epoxy resin. The output shaft 
sealing is accomplished via a two-part rotor stator sealing system that provides three sealing surfaces. Finally, the round surface of, of the gear motor prevents accumulation of liquids or foods, thus minimizing or eliminating places for bacteria to grow. Okay, so basically the IP69K rated your enclosures have to be completely water and dust tight, as well as not having any of the exposed cavities or corners or edges for contaminations to collect. Is that right? Exactly right. Okay. It's designed to withstand these high pressure, high temperature washdowns at about 15 liters per minute at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. In fact, our team tested this gear motor uh, by pouring buttermilk all over it, <laughs> letting it sit outside and bake uh, in the sun for 24 hours, and then coming back the next day and using a power washer to clean it down. The gear motor operated flawlessly, as you can see in this clip. All right, let's take a look. This is ordinary buttermilk, which I am now thoughtlessly pouring all over the Santa motor. Ooh, that must have been kind of rough there after 24 hours. You know, and, and they were doing that. I'm sure they were wearing their personal Absolutely. protective equipment. And you got to do that if you're installing this or if you're doing the washdowns. Make sure your PPE or your personal protective equipment matches whatever the job has to do. Exactly. You know, Safety I mean, first. Yeah, I mean, this is good stuff. I mean, where can we go if we need additional information on the IP ratings? We want to know what, what's this going to cover. Is it a 54K? Is it a 69K? Where do we find this stuff? Look at either the NEMA MG1 2011 uh -huh. or the IEC 60529 standard. Both of these are great references for describing what each rating is and what is needed to qualify at that, at that rated level. Well, that's awesome. Well, John Birch, thank you so much from Bison Gear and Engineering. We appreciate Tom, it. Tom, thanks for having me. I'm going to lick this to see if there's any buttermilk <laughs> left, just in case. Uh, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. And uh, hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And uh, as you saw, PPE, personal protective equipment, whatever the job calls for, installing, power washing, whatever, make sure you're wearing it because uh, safety is what it's all about. And don't forget to watch other how-to videos from Motion Industries with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.